Polizei, Polizei! Do you want to stay on the right side of the law in Germany? Well, here are a few things you probably didn't realize are banned here. Several times a year, on so-called silent days, dancing in public is forbidden in Germany. The dance ban is most strictly enforced on Good Friday, one of the most important dates in the Christian calendar. The exact times of the ban vary between states, and in some places it's also forbidden to have sporting events, move house, or show particular films. But it's not Good Friday. No, but it is Sunday, and every Sunday is a quiet day. The law states you can only do DIY if it doesn't involve any drilling, hammering, or banging. So I guess that leaves gluing? Other forbidden activities include playing loud music, recycling glass, and skateboarding noisily in a residential area. Don't even think about mowing your lawn. These rules usually apply on public holidays too, as well as certain times of the afternoon, and evening, depending on regional law. Ganz einfach. In Germany, it can really pay to hold your tongue. Insulting somebody can land you a hefty fine, or up to one year in jail. Here are some examples from real court cases. Verklopter. Die hat wohl die Sonne das Gehirn verbrannt. Am liebsten würde ich jetzt Arschloch zu dir sagen. Ey, Spinner! The more you earn, the more you pay. A professional footballer recently received a 25,000 euro fine for insulting a pensioner in a car park. Germans are extremely obedient when it comes to pedestrian crossings, and no wonder. Walking across the street when the light is red could land you an on-the-spot fine of 5 to 10 euros. New drivers can even have their probation period extended by two years for walking over on red. You know, sometimes I think Rachel's a bit boring. Wouldn't it be great to be called something cool like Princess Asparagus? Hold it right there! In Germany, you can only change your name if you have a really, really good reason for it. Like, no one can pronounce it, or it causes you psychological distress. When getting married, only one partner can take a double-barreled surname. And when naming your children, there are various legal precedents too. Like? Well, the name must be easily recognisable as a first name. Ah, so that's why there's not very many baby Mullers or Schneiders running around here. No names that will be harmful to the child in any way. Fair enough. Up until 2008, the name also had to make it clear whether the child was male or female. But that's not the case anymore. Let me hear you say 21st century, but titles like Lord or Princess are still out. Oh, man! Step away from the sponge. What? I'm not even allowed to wash my own car in front of my own home. No, but with good reason. The water containing dirt, grease and cleaning chemicals can make its way into the groundwater and eventually into rivers and lakes. Save yourself a possible fine of thousands of euros and head to a professional car wash. They'll have to comply with strict rules when disposing of the water. So what do you reckon? Have the Germans gone too far or do you love a good ban? Comment below. See you next time. And remember, immer sauber bleiben.